Hey, what's good? This is Quick Tip number seven. Nah, I'm tripping. Quick Tip number 18. Uh, today's Quick Tip is about sounds and editing sounds. It's about normalization or normalize. Um, I do that a little bit on my drums every now and then. I'm going to show you an example. I say I was uh, making a drum kit and I was going through some sounds and I, I was just bringing them in, you know, because I wanted. This is actually how I do it. You know, I go ahead and I make my uh, my drum kit. I put four kicks out, and I put on uh, some, you know, put some sounds in, just like we all do. Just drum sounds and stuff. But uh, what the quick tip is about today is about normalization. You know, sometimes the sounds that you pick they might not be the biggest. Um, sometimes they just need you know that little bit of boost and you we all know about normalization you know you can take audio and you can boost it up to a common level and I do that sometimes on machine a lot of times so what I do is I bring in drum sounds like that and I click right here on the sample I like to click here and make sure the edit right here is selected and I like to look at my samples like like this one for example when I look at it I see it, it, it's way too long it just ran all they didn't even need all that so I like to grab the end right here and I'll make the sample shorter you know just more appropriate or something I do that a lot of time with um especially with kicks if, if I see a kick like that you know that's not right and I'll, I'll take that out you know I want my kick to be you know short and sweet but uh, anyway with normalization what I like to do is I like to click right here on normalize it's right here and as you can see the difference I'm just gonna push uh, undo real quick and you can see it just makes the kick you know that's before normalization that's after so it's just making it louder um, it's nothing special a lot of sounds have already been normalized or compressed so much that when you do something to it it doesn't even do anything all it does is put a negative one there and I'll just go ahead and I'll just undo that and I'll take it off because it, the sounds already compressed it needs a little bit of room to be able to do that like this has a lot of room you know headroom left so I would normalize it just makes the sound a little bit more live um, in the end I'm gonna mix the sound on the mixer anyway so a lot of times I'll come through and I'll make my sounds just a little bit more fatter by pushing the normalize button so that's the quick tip today this is Cadillac tracks make sure you hit that subscribe one